Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limited Development and welcome to Xcode Tricks and Tips. And in this video I'll be showing you how to tidy and keep your project arranged. Now gradually as you're building your applications and you slowly import more and more features such as new views or images, sounds, videos or whatever, as you go along your project is going to be getting quite full of all the stuff you're importing and the best way of keeping on top of it is making sure that you arrange all the files in your project into nice little groups and just so it's easier to find what you're looking for and it doesn't become a big mess and by keeping it all tidy it helps you find the files when you're creating new features for your app so this is just a mock little um, project here I've created and it's got quite a few new classes, a few sound files and a few images which is basically what your apps may look like at the moment and a great way of keeping on top of all this is creating individual groups for each of the files so if we just right click on the project name here and then create a new group and I rename this group simply images and in that way you can highlight all of your images, place them into your group and then you can minimize the group there. Now all your images are nicely placed into your group folder there. So by doing that it just basically puts all your images in one place just so they're out of the way so it doesn't make your project look completely messy. And then you can drag the group here and can move it into supporting files just so it's out of the way completely. So you can do exactly the same again, we'll just do the same again but with these sounds. Now you don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing but it's just a easy way of helping you become a better developer by making sure your projects are all easy and manageable. So when you does come to releasing updates or if you want to, or if you close your project and then carry on from where you left off another day, you know where all your files are because you created nice individual groups. So what I could do now is the classes, I could simply create a classes folder and then drag all the classes in, close that up and then put it underneath there. So now let's go to close up all the files now. So now we have all of our images and sounds and classes that were just simply scattered in our project we have now put them in neat little groups and they now are hidden away in our little menu here so now your application doesn't look messy and you can simply be able to find the files you're looking for very very easy so this is a little tip here on keeping on top of your project make sure it's not getting too messy and keeping it all arranged just so you can simply find your files on a later date when you're working on your application. So I hope this little tip helps you on your steps to becoming a better developer. Make sure you like the video and add it to your favourites. Send, send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials for our tutorial series or if you know any tricks or tips that you want to share with everybody else to simply send us a message or leave us a comment and we'll do our best to provide them for you. But in the meantime if you haven't make sure you subscribe and keep a good check out for our tutorials as we have quite a few good ones coming up so in the meantime like I said make sure you subscribe like the video favorite it and I'll see you all next time in our next video hey guys Aaron here please support us by liking us on Facebook following us on Twitter and checking out all our apps by simply searching geeky lemon on the app store and make sure you visit our website where we have a full list and full source code for all our tutorials and visit our blog, forums and all the other great features we have to offer on our website.